Alrighty, boys. We're heading out. Gotta go get in the Z06, you know. Hold up. That's no Z06. These aren't no Corvette keys. What's going on here? Hold up. This ain't no Corvette. That ain't no Corvette exhaust note. What's going on here? What is up guys, Cars Across Texas here today, and uh, today we got the HPC Supra for the weekend. Um, the Z06 replacement while it's in the shop, if you will. And uh, I've driven it a lot already, and um, I'll probably do a whole separate video on like a, like a review sort of deal over it, and um, we'll get to that as well. But today, we're just gonna go drive it around, we're gonna go to some car meets, we're going to go get some pictures of it and everything like that, and see what the Supra is all about. It is very BMW. I didn't even realize how BMW it is in the inside until I like got in here. BMW, 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 all these buttons straight out of a BMW. It's really crazy. It even has like the BMW thing and like the warranty thing up there. And uh, in the door it says co-produced with uh, BMW as well. So kind of crazy. But it, it's a fun little tossable car, especially around the corners. I could definitely see myself getting one of these as a daily. But... I'll give you more of my opinions in a separate video. We're just going to drive this around today and see what it's all about. Let's get to it. It ain't no Z06, man, but it's a pretty comfortable car. Definitely see getting one of these in more of like a daily. Maybe doing a little tuning down pipe set them on it, but not going too crazy. But I say that now, but if I ever were to get one of these, it'd probably get pretty crazy, you know. It all just starts with tuning down pipes and then it ends up with like a big pure turbo, single turbo setup or something and we're rocking and we're rolling. And the most critical feature of the Supra, this button right here, always gotta have it in sport mode or else it is not that much fun. Sport mode is when the pops come in, steering's a little tighter, it just is the car it was supposed to be almost. But not in sport mode, it, it ain't no fun. I do like this carbon fiber a little bit around here. That does look good. We're picking up Mr. Mason. I don't know what he's doing, but he's gonna get some sick pictures of the Super for us. Then on to a car meet. So we got the Super here in our first little photo shoot spot. Mason with the pictures, MDH Photography on Instagram. If you don't follow him already, make sure to do so. And uh, that's a little spot we just stumbled across while we are going to get gas, the slowest gas pump in the entire world. But here we are, very nice view of downtown with the little new Supra. There's a little bit of grass blocking the view over there. So, we decided to make the world's first off-road Supra. There we go. Look, he's decided to join the uh, photo shoot party. We JDM boys. Alrighty, let us know. Should Sinclair Photos here get a Supra? Should he? Leave, leave in the comments below. Go to his Instagram, drop it in his comments below. Let him know. See if you should get a Supra. Should I get a Supra? Shoot, I'm starting to like these more and more as I'm just driving around in it, man. It, it's a really comfortable car, like as a daily. And it's really fun to little, toss around some of the corners and stuff. Alrighty. Should I get one of these? The more I drive it, the more I do like it. It's like a little go-kart. Definitely need some upgraded turbos, other mods and stuff, but it's, it's plenty quick and it's comfortable too. I'm sorry. Guys, 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 guys. I'm in a bit of a moral predicament. This is just another option to my list of daily drivers I've been looking to get. Should I get a Supra or should I go with like a, a new truck or say screw it and get a crazy race car? I, I think the crazy like race car idea, like a Viper or something like that is probably my lowest on the like table just because I don't want to have a 900 horsepower Z06 and then a Viper that I'm sure I'll mod. The Supra is a super comfortable daily. The seats are really nice. It's plenty quick. And I mean, there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do to this car to make it like 600 horsepower. So make it a fun little race car and whatever. But 
could also get a truck. What do you want to see on the channel more? Do you want to see truck content or do you want to see JDM super content? Maybe we'll turn this into a crazy stance build. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a sing big single turbo on it or something like that. Maybe a 2J swap. I don't know. That'd be cool. But uh, let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see a super on the channel. First thing that needs to happen if I get one of these is downpipes and a full exhaust. The car sounds like a vacuum cleaner with a burble tune. <laughs> Mr. Sinclair here is uh, thinking about selling. There we go. He's thinking about selling the beloved Rocket Bunny FRS for a Supra. Well, he might keep both. I don't know yet. So make sure to go check out the homie's channel. Drop him a sub. I'm gonna get some rollers of the Supra out of the wide body FRS. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. Decisions, decisions. Honestly, a car that I never really considered getting until I've driven one. car is a head turner as well. I've had so many people just snap their necks looking at this thing on the road. I'm just not sure how long that appeal is going to hold. Once these become more common, I'm sure it won't be so attention grabbing, but you know, whatever. Alright fellas, we're going to the, one of the most OG Houston photo spots to get some pictures of the cars together. Alright, here we are getting some tacos with the Supra. This car is way more livable, like daily drivable than the vet is, man. Got the homie Sinclair, we got the super parked up next to each other. We're here at Velvet Taco for some lunch. It's a party. Alrighty guys, so we do have the 2021 Supra for the whole weekend. It has grown on me tremendously and I'm pretty sure you can see that in the emotions that I've shared towards the car in this video. But hopefully you enjoyed this video guys. We're on our way to another car meet now, so it'll be a whole separate video. Then I'll probably do a little review on the car, maybe. And then we might have to get one for the channel. I don't know. Leave, me, leave your comments down below. Let me know, should I get a 2021 Toyota Supra and make it fast? But I'll see you next guy. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, guys. Uh, deuces. So I know I just ended the last video. But we're picking it back up here. We got the Mark V out. Uh, and there's literally like 30 Supras here. This is crazy. Oh my God, there's Mark 3s, Mark 4s, Mark 5s. Every Supra your heart could desire. Oh my goodness. I got my little slow rental, pretty much. My shop loaner. I particularly like this one. There are so many Supras here. Oh my God. That one sounds really nice. Got this very nice red color. This is so clean. I'm gonna drop him a follow on the gram. <laughs> and then here amongst all of the uh, Supras, we have the C6ZR1. That, my friends, big nut. So the police are here. How does a chill Supra meat get shut down quicker than a uh, lane hog burnout meat? <laughs> So we got the launch edition here. The white with the red mirrors, red seats. Very nice. And then we got the yellow one as well. I think I'm gonna have to get a Mark V Super for a daily, man. Having it this weekend, I fall in love. Sitting quietly behind all these Supras, we have a Gen 5 Viper and a C7Z.